Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are sharing ab you about the T1 track for Wings 1 assessment that is React JS. So starting the video, so the questions are React is developed by that is a Facebook engineers. Okay, so React JS is an MVC based framework. This is false. Okay, so which of the following concepts are key to React JS? So components oriented design and event delegation model. So both are the correct answers. So React JS focused on which of the following parts when considering MVC that is model view controller. The answer is view. Then the next question, which of, of the following needs to be updated to achieve dynamic UI lay updates that is state. Which of the following APIs is a must for every React JS component that is render. Div defines within render method is an actual DOM div element that is for. Next question, which of the following is used to pass the data from parent to child that is props concept. So. A component in React JS could be composed of one or more inner components. That is true. So we are basically creating an React component. So inside components, we can create another component. So that is a correct answer. Okay. So JSX transform transformer is a must to work with React JS. That is false. So the JSX stand for JavaScript extension. Okay. So which uses HTML and JavaScript both as in a combined code. So, one can define default values for properties props using which of the following method that is get default props. Prop types is used for validation. So, mixins are used to take care of cross cutting concerns that is true. So, life cycle methods of components falls under which of the following categories that is mounting, updating and unmounting. Then the next question pre and post life cycles methods of components are represented using will and did. Okay, so which of the following mounting methods are involved before the component is inserted into DOM that is get initial state component will mount. Okay, so these are the two options. So which of the following method changes the state of a component then both of the above that is force update and set state. So input fields that does not supply a value is called as a controller controlled components. Okay, so the default value of input field could be set using which of the followings attribute the answer is default value. The value of text area is set using its child's is the way in the way like HTML that the answer is false. Okay, React JS renders HTML tags in if following element is defined in lowercase. So React JS renders components in the uh, that is classes if the element is defined in upper cases. So to use native JavaScript as an attribute value, the expression should be wrapped in curly braces. So which of the following is used to trigger a UI update that is state. A component can mutate its properties as an when required that is false. And owner component define its children components within render method that is true. A parent component could access or read its children components properties that is true. Okay, the date, data flow from owner to own component using which of the following that is props. So changes or updates to large number of nodes is optimized using which of the following technique that is both of the above that is batching and change detection so what is a mounting so mounting contains constructor get derived state from properties render and component did mount okay for updating so this is get derived state from props should components update render get snapshot before update and component did update so these are the function that's coming as updating and this is um, unmounting unmounted campaign uh, components will unmount okay db queries so these are the mongo db queries so there are many query operator that can be used to compare and reference document field that is comparison eq values are equal dollar any that is values are not equal greater than values greater than the another value so gt values greater than or equal to another value so lt values less than another value lt that is value is less than or equal to another value or in values matched with in an array okay so next is logical logical operators and or nor or not so and returns documents where both queries matches or returns document where other query matches okay not returns document where both queries fails to match or not returns document where the query does not match so evolution for evolution we have regress next and where regex allows the use of regular expression when evaluating field values so next is 
performs a text search and uses JavaScript expression to match document that is where. So fields. The following operator can be used to update fields. So current date, in, inc, rename, set, and unset. Current date sets the field value to the current date. Increment the value fields, inc, rename the field, set the values of the field, and remove the values from the document. So this is related to array. So add to the set, pop, pull, push. Add distance element to an array, pop removes and pull removes the element from an array, then matches the query and push adds an element to an array okay so friend this is all for this video uh, for the react js t1 wings 1 assessment so if you like the video please like and don't follow to subscribe and share the channel so thank you friends have a nice day and take care